mess up on, on your speed and on your roll. But again, the more you practice your weapon, the easier you will get to be able to manipulate the weapon. Welcome back to another exciting edition of the Power of Five. Today we're going to see the deceptive weapon of the Iron Fan. This weapon is so cool though. Back in the day, certain cultures used the Iron Weapon or the Iron Fan in different manners. Some of them, they used to use it as wooden, right? And the cool thing is that with this type of weapon, they used to make signals back in the day, back in war. So on the Chinese weapon, it's a little bit different though. On this one, you can see the, the, uh, the concealed weapon of the daggers. So that's why it's, it's a deceptive weapon. Sometimes you're gonna see on some of the forms, you're gonna see they strike in this manner. And the reason being though is because that's what you see, the spear. So sometimes you're gonna see the weapon that is more of a practice fan than the fighting fan. This particular fan, like I said before, is what we call the fighting fan. Unga Quen, Iron Fan. One, hit, two, open, tiger, three, block, four, hit the leg, six, block, and as soon as you block, you're high in that uppercut. Boom, you finish with the uppercut. Now, on this flip, it's very simple. You're just gonna open your hand like this. You're gonna go one, and you're gonna let it rotate on the back of your hand all the way to the side, two. And it will be like this. Look, look how slow it is and how simple it is. One, two, and three. One more time. One, two, and three. Now, you cannot move your hand because if you move your hand, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be tossing the stick that way. So with a fan is the same thing. You have the fan right here. So you're gonna grab the fan and you're gonna flip the fan. Once you get the fan, that's when you get to open. So subtitle, this is the fan. So you grab the fan and you flip the fan. Once you hit the flan, that's when you can flip or whatnot. Now, 